Go ahead. Are you listening? It's good teaching. If we cannot endure mm. the small things, mm. we won't be able to overcome the large things. That's it. That's right. Everybody all right? Yeah. Good teaching, man. It's good teaching. To my viewers, so many of you are writing me and asking me, well, if there's no church in our area that's really preaching holiness, should we go to church? <laughs> I'm getting so many letters asking that question around the world. Should we go to church if the church is not preaching exactly what the Lord says? Yeah. It's a waste of time. Yes. Ask yourself, would you put money in the bank that don't guarantee interest? Amen. Would you buy a car that have no wheels? <laughs> That's right. All right, let's Would you buy a pair of shoes that have no soles? No soles. What good is going to anybody's church if the word of God is not going to be preached? Let us look at what church supposed to be about. Supposed to be. Church supposed to be centered around God. That's right. Am I right? Yeah. You cannot hardly find God in church today. No. Money took the place of God in church. Yes. So now God is thrown out of the church. The church. And money and wealth and entertainment yeah. have took the place of church. Mm -hmm. The devil... He is relentless in his effort trying to destroy the church. Oh, yes. So what have he done? He has infiltrated church. Yes. To get us off course. Mm -hmm. Get us off track. Yeah. The book says straight and narrow is the way that lead to life. But the devil causes us to think that broad is the way that leads to life. That's right. So Satan, being he is the enemy, Amen. he blend in among us. Yes. Posing as a brother. Oh, yes. Posing as sisters. Amen. Posing as preachers. Yes. Posing as someone that love you. That's right. I want to talk about infiltration today. Infiltration, amen. It's good teaching. I want to educate our viewers, get your children to the screen, and you that are here. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about it from a natural perspective and from a biblical perspective. Mm -hmm. First, let's give you some natural information, some history. History. Mm -hmm. We all heard of the organization called the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The FBI. Yeah. Former director was J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. Who was a bigot. <laughs> a homosexual racist. Yes. Mm. History is best qualified to reward all research. Mm. It is true of a historical fact and documented history that he was a bigot. Yeah. J. Edgar Hoover hated people of color. Mm -hmm. He introduced a program that became real popular, and I want everyone to listen. Mm -hmm. It became very prevalent, very popular in the 50s and 60s. It was called counterintelligence. Right. COINTEL program. Mm -hmm. In other words, if there was any organization, whether it was community or religious, for the betterment of people, to motivate the people to have progress and do better in your neighborhood. And if the message that came from the leader was very influential, mm -hmm. it caused people to flock to it, to gravitate to it, yeah. then Hoover wanted that organization or that group destroyed. Yeah. So the counterintelligence program was introduced. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let me explain to you what this program was. Members of the FBI was hired or members of the organization itself were used and paid off to give the FBI information about the organization and the FBI hoped they can use it to damage. And if there was no information used to damage the organization, then the FBI will infiltrate it themselves. That's right. And church was not exempted. If the church believed in baptism, then FBI agents will come there and act like they're repentant. That's right. And be baptized. Amen. They will even act like they're speaking in tongues. Mm. Lord. They will jump and shout, but document what's going on. Yeah. To report back to the enemy. My Lord. The objective was to dismantle, to cause confusion, mm -hmm. to spread lies, mm -hmm. to spread rumors, yeah. to bring about weakness in every capacity where it's strong right. and to kill the leader. That's right. Those that cater to the leader turn love into hate. That's right. Turn trust into mistrust. Mm -hmm. To make those that embrace you stand away from you. Yeah. This is how far they went. They even went as far as forging letters. Oh, yes. They would write letters and spread rumors and lies about those within the organization and then sign the name of somebody in the organization right. to make it look like it came from a person within. That's right. The objective was to start friction. Yeah. Yeah. Between those that there was no friction. That's right. Then you get what I'm telling you. Amen. If things are going forward, mm -hmm. how do you go about slowing that thing down? Cause division. That's right. So the counterintelligence program infiltrated back in those days when the nation of Islam was functioning, they called them the black Muslims. FBI came in with bow ties and suits when Martin Luther King was demonstrating. They was in Martin Luther King's organization when Stokey Carmichael started SNCC and the other organization core. Yeah. They came in. The FBI would come among you and blend in so well they would even give out flyers. My Lord. The objective is blend in. Yeah. They'll come right in first church. Shout. End up holding a position in the church. My Lord. See, the counterintelligence did not begin with Hoover. No. The counterintelligence mm -hmm. began with the devil. The devil. Amen. Hoover simply done things that was already done yeah. in the Bible. That's right. Already. First, I want to deal with forging letters. Yes. Amen. Because today they can do it in a very, you know, a more better way with the internet and text messaging. That's right. You know, they can send out mass texts from a computer. Yeah. And then sign, put some more name on it. Mm -hmm. And then put you at odds with the person and the person never sent it. That's right. That's right. To do what? Cause confusion and mistrust. And now you falsely charged. Yeah. That brother and that sister. Mm -hmm. What? Create a wage. Amen. Send an email. Mm -hmm. 
kill a reputation. See, one thing about Hoover, he was very jealous. Yeah. Jealousy is a strong motivator. Oh, yes. The book says jealousy is as cruel as the grave. As the grave. So you try to kill a person's character and assassinate their character. That's right. Cointel. Counter. Look at the word counter to offset that which is in motion. That's right. Intelligence to implement a different form of intelligence, a different way to drive the present intelligence a different direction. That's it. That's right. Let's show you forgery. Forgery. Amen. From a scriptural perspective. In the book of First Kings. Follow me. In the book of First Kings, chapter 21, we're starting at verse 1. Listen. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard. There was a man in the scriptures named Naboth, a righteous man, a God-fearing man. Mm -hmm. He received a vineyard. Mm -hmm. It was an inheritance. Amen. He was blessed with some land. Right. Listen. And it came to pass after these things that Naboth the Jezreel had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel. Hard by the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Yes. And Ahab spake unto Naboth, saying, Give me thy vineyard. Ahab, during this time, was king. Yeah. And lustful, jealous, he felt as though he had a right hmm. to this man's property mm -hmm. because it was close to the kingdom. That's right. Listen. Give me thy vineyard. Give, he was covetous. Yes. Give me thine vineyard. That's a nice way of acting. That's right. <laughs> it ain't that. Well, do you want to sell it? No. Give you me. know, like he got rights. Yeah. Right. Listen good. Give me thy vineyard. Give me thine vineyard. That I may have it. That I may have it. Well, For that's pretty bold. Amen. That I may have it. For a garden of herbs. I want it for a garden. Because it is near unto my house. As if he got some right because it's near to your house. That's right. What else? And I will give thee for it a better vineyard than it. Or now, it, mm -hmm. he offered him a better vineyard. Mm -hmm. But in the eyes of Naboth, this thing was in his family for years. Right. And he valued the land that his fathers worked on before he got a hold of it. That's right. Listen. Or if it seem good to thee, I will give thee the worth of it in money. Yes, I pay for it. And Naboth said to Ahab, the Lord forbid it me. Yes. That I should give the inheritance of my fathers unto thee. Listen. And Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased. Now the king was dissatisfied because Naboth would not give in. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters that are here, mm -hmm. and you that are watching, when somebody wants something that belongs to you, and you won't give it to them, right. or if someone is jealous of you, mm -hmm. then please don't be surprised mm -hmm. what they say about you. That's right. It is a true saying that misery loves company. Yes. Yes. Are you listening? That's right. Misery love company. Yeah. So if there are people that have confidence in you and respect you as a person, mm -hmm. they love the way you conduct yourself, they love the way you present yourself. Mm -hmm. And yet there's someone among you, whether it's wife, husband, cousin, brother, sister, church person. That's right. Who really got it in for you? Then they are motivated. Mm -hmm. The evil that is in him or that is in her is self motivation. That's right. To kill you in the eyes of others. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So every chance he or she get, they're gonna pull someone to the side. Yeah. Or put them on the phone. Oh, yes. Because they don't want to feel negative about you by themselves. That's right. Because now they see you are ignoring them and you're, they're not having no success. Yeah. They're not having no success in stopping you. Amen. They're not having no success in discouraging you. Yeah. They're not having no success in bringing you down 
to their low level. Go ahead. They see you ignoring them. Go ahead. They see you not even turning your back. That's right. That's right. So when they see they met the don't work, yeah. they got to higher the stakes. Oh, yes. And try something else. That's right. That's counterintelligence. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Go ahead. Listen. And Ahab came into his house heavy and displeased. Yes, the king was unhappy. Because of the word which Naboth the Jezreelite had spoken to him. All right. For he had said, I will not give thee inheritance of my father. Yes. And he laid him down upon his bed and turned away his face and would eat no bread. Yes. I mean, he really, really was greedy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it affect the poor fellow's appetite and all that stuff. But that's, that's he had a wicked wife. But Jezebel, his wife. Who was it? Jezebel. Oh, you heard of Jezebel. Amen. Oh, Jezebel. Jezebel, his wife, came to him. Jezebel was like a mercenary. Oh, yeah. She knocked off the prophets, prophets. with her body. That's it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Jezebel was a mercenary. Oh, yes. She knocked off the prophets mm -hmm. with her body. Amen. Until men of God was hiding right. in the caves. In caves. Obadiah hid them. That's right. Came to Elijah. Was it not told you how I hid the servants of the Lord in caves by fifties? Mm -hmm. uh, Elijah was the prophet that called fire from heaven. That's right. Mm hmm <laughs> But Jezebel sent him a letter. <laughs> That's right. Jezebel didn't stand face to face with him. No. Just wrote him a letter. Just the letter. When the fire calling prophet. That's right. Read the letter. Mm -hmm. He took off. He took off. What was Jezebel doing? Challenging his fire. Yeah. And he ran for his life. That's right. I want to show you the wickedness that was in Jezebel. Amen. And how she had no limitations. See, there are some people that have no boundaries yeah. until you are destroyed. That's right. You want to see a happy person that hates you? Mm -hmm. Let them witness your demise. That's right. Let them see people believe what they tell them. Yeah. You will see them happy. You will see them jumping up in some kind of spirit. That's right. That's true. Mm -hmm. If a brother get up and preach mm -hmm. and preach something and the one that got it in for you think that message or that statement is hitting you, they're going to jump up and scream and be louder than anybody. That's true. But when a message come and hit them, yeah. they ain't moving. Yeah. Oh, yes. Are you listening to the old troublemakers? Yes, Amen. An enemy wants those that befriend him or her to feel the same way they do. That's right. Listen good. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him. Come on, son. And said unto him, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? Yes. And he said unto her, Because I spake unto Naboth the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else if it please thee, uh -huh. I will give thee another vineyard for it. Yes. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Doest thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? She had to encourage her satanic husband. That's right. Do you not govern Israel? Don't you roll everything around here? All right. Aren't you not in charge? That's it. Get up, man. And eat bread. Go eat. And let thine heart be merry. Be happy because I got something up my sleeve. I will give thee the vineyard. I'll take care. Amen. What did Jezebel say? I will give thee the vineyard. Now, counterintelligence. Yeah. Naboth was a man of honest reputation mm -hmm. and God-fearing. That's right. And Jezebel knew it. That's right. Now, Jezebel hatched a plan mm -hmm. to get the vineyard. Mm -hmm. 
How? By any means necessary. That's right. She had no regard for life, so it didn't phase up if he would be killed. No. But she knew she just could not murder a honest, God-fearing man, especially when the people respect him. That's right. So the first thing you got to do when someone is respected in the eyes of the people is to change the people perspective about that man or that woman. That's right. That's the first thing you got to do. That's right. You got to kill that good reputation. Yeah. You got to kill all the good they done and all the love that they have turn it to hate. That's it. All those that embrace them now push them from them. Amen. You got to make it look good. You got to make it sound good. Yeah. And you got to make it sound convincing. That's right. You got to get everybody on your side. That's right. Who hold this man or woman in high esteem. Yeah. And Jezebel knew this. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? And Jezebel, his wife. Hoover said, knew this. Mm -hmm. Hoover understood the art and the craft of destroying a human being or an organization. Right. You got to kill the influence that that man or woman or that organization have over the people. That's right. Listen good. And Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Yes. Doest thou now govern the kingdom of Israel? Come on, son. Arise and eat bread and let thine heart be merry. Yes. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. I will give you. I, look how confident she was. I will give thee. I'll the give vineyard. it to you. That's right. Don't you worry. Amen. Don't <laughs> you worry, honey. That's right. I'm your wicked wife. <laughs> Amen. I'm of the devil. Amen. I got a plan. Yes. Covetous. Covetous. Listen good. So she wrote letters. She wrote letters in Ahab's name. Forgery. Amen. She wrote letters. She wrote Ahab letters. was the king. That's right. Ahab didn't write the letter. She wrote letters. She wrote letters. In Ahab's name. In Ahab's name. And that gives the writing reputation. That's right. Power. That's right. And respectability. That's right. She wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them. And she sealed them with his seal. Make it official. Make it official. Make it look like it really came from the king. That's right. Why? That way nobody questioned it. That's right. Isn't that hateful? Amen. Make it look like it came from the king. Mm -hmm. That way, nobody questioned it. Nobody questioned it. And now this caused the people emotions to swerve right. from positive to negative. That's right. Why I want to get everybody looking at Naboth mm -hmm. the way I look at him. Amen. I want to get everybody feeling negative yeah. towards Naboth. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to introduce something mm -hmm. that we know Naboth already does. That's right. Fasting. That's right. Something. Listen good. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name. She wrote letters in Ahab's name. And sealed them with a seal. Put the king's seal on it. And sent the letters unto the elders. She sent the letters to the elders. And to the nobles. And them that was a reputation. That were in his city. Did you hear that? Amen. Come on. And she wrote to, and she wrote in the letters saying, proclaim a fast. Now look at it. She wrote in the letters, proclaim what? Proclaim a fast. Now. It made it look like the king proclaimed the fast. Right. And this is the way people are. Mm -hmm. If a brother or a sister got it in for you, mm -hmm. they will declarate, make a declaration, send out text messages or emails or letters. That's right. Sign scripture to it. To give it merit. Give it strength. Mm -hmm. Or they'll put Pastor Jenner's name to it. That's right. Give it credibility. That's right. Or it'll go in reverse. Yeah. They'll put some other minister name on the letter and then make the letter attack Pastor Jennings. That's right. That's right. That's They'll put Dan to it. That's true. Hoping that me and Dan will end up in ours after. Or they'll put James on it. That's right. 
and then they're sick in the congregation of the branch church where James is and build James up. My Lord. Hoping they get James, encourage James to start his church. My Lord. And they'll tell James, I'm with you. Did you did you see this letter? Yeah, yeah I'm telling you, I knew it all. Whole glory. I knew the whole glory. Go ahead, brother. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Make a flame. Do you know there are some people that hope? that the lies that is told on you are true? Are true. There are some people that pray that is true My Lord. and it frustrates them when they can't find no proof. Amen. So when they can't find no proof, what's the next thing to do? Make up something. Make up something. That's what Hoover done. That's right. Hoover would manufacture lies. My Lord. They are innocent people that were murdered because of Hoover. Yeah. There are innocent women and men that were murdered mm -hmm. because of Hoover. That's right. Because of his counterintelligence program, police mm -hmm. have raided houses, yeah. murdered men in cold blood. That's right. That's true. That's why the book says, speak what, what you, know. you know. What you know. What you don't know, shut up and stop trying to make up. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The book says, he that keep his mouth keep his life. keeps his life. Keeps his life. Read quickly because I have so much to get. Come on, sir. So she wrote the letters in Ahab's name. And she wrote the letters in Ahab's name and put a seal. And sent the letters unto the elders and to the nobles that were in the city. Dwelling with Naboth. Yes. And she wrote in the letters saying, proclaim a fast. Proclaim a fast. And set Naboth on high among the people. Wait a minute. Let's use the letters first to build right. Naboth up. That's right. Do you see the setup? Mm -hmm. How are we going to treat Naboth? And set Naboth set on high. Set Naboth on high. Let the letters praise him. That's right. Because he's reputable anyway. Mm -hmm. Speak good of him. Speak good of him. Then what? And set two men. Uh-oh. Amen. Get two men. Sons of Belial. Sons of the devil. Bef Sons of Belial. Belial mean bell. Yeah. Worshippers of the devil. That's right. Let's get two men. Sons of Belial. Because Jezebel knew who wished up Belial. That's, That's right. right. That's right. In other words, those that hate you that hate know you. who to go to to conspire with them. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. They are making real. Start crying. Oh, oh, he did this. He did that. Why to work on your emotions? That's right. And now you walk around hating someone mm -hmm. who ain't did nothing. Nothing, amen. See, if somebody knows you are emotionally vulnerable yeah. and are weak-minded, a weak mind and having emotional vulnerability is a bad cocktail. That's right. That's a bad cocktail. That's right. Because now somebody can pray on your emotions mm -hmm. and then pray on the weakness of your mind just so you can agree with them. Amen. And then after they get you saved, and all they want to do is get you to say, Amen. That's it. That's right. Yeah, I know. Before you know it, you'll start bearing false witness. That's right. You didn't see them do nothing. Before you know it, you start lying. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah. I saw her. <laughs> ben see it wasn't even in the city or state or town. That's right. But we bear false witness. False witness. Are you listening? Amen. Some folks say, I got a gut feeling. As if your guts is better than God. <laughs> That's right. I got some laxatives. Go ahead, brother. That will cure your gut feeling. Yeah, those feelings. The Lord didn't say feel it from the gut. <laughs> no. no it Speak what you know. Speak what you know. Writing a lie. Right. It's equal to telling one. That's right. Texting a lie mm. is equal to telling one. Amen. Emailing a lie yeah. is equal to telling one. Yeah. And God says, all liars. All liars. Well, why you say all, oh, Lord? Because I know that man can lie in all kinds of ways. That's right. So if God is the way you lie, mm -hmm. oh. you're going to have your part in the lake. That's right. 
if you lie on the phone, uh -huh. by email, yeah. by text message. Right. Are you listening? You're still lying. You're still lying. If you lie in prophecy. Go ahead. That's still right. lying. If you lie in preaching. Yes. Who will take God? Still lying. That's right. If you lie like the Lord dealing with you. That's mm -hmm. right. Still lying. Still lying. That's what it means when it says all lies. All. That cover every form of the way it is to lie. That's right. You're going to go to hell for it. Right. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, brother. All right, listen to what I'm talking. Go ahead. Read quick. And said two men, sons of Belial, before him. Get two men, sons of the devil, before him. To bear witness against him. Get two men to bear witness against him. Against him. Saying, Thou didst blaspheme God. And this is God. the lie that you're going to say about him. Thou didst blaspheme God. You blaspheme God. And the king. And the king. And then carry him Nabob out. Nabob never did no such thing. No. Let's say he blasphemed God. And the king. Now he want to attack his religious and spiritual status. That's right. Say he blasphemed God. Because even back then they knew blaspheme was... It was intolerable. That's right. Say he blasphemed God. Right. And the king. And spoke against authority. That's right. Uh -huh. And then carry him out and stone him. Now, you just can't take him out and kill him. No. If we send these letters around mm -hmm. and put in the letter that he blasphemed God and the king. Right. And then kill him afterward. That's right. Then the people will be on our side mm -hmm. and see, well, yeah, yes. yeah, let's, yeah, he should have been killed because he blasphemed God and the king. king. And then we get some the people that take sides, mm -hmm. they'll participate in the stoning. That's right. That's right. If we get them on our side, right. they will participate and kill him. Killing him. Right. Oh, glory to God. My Lord. Do you hear this? And the men of his city. The men of his city. Even the elders and the nobles. Even the elders and the nobles. Who were the inhabitants in his city. What was it? Did as Jezebel had sent unto them. They followed the leading of the devil. That's right. Jezebel was simply the devil's puppet. That's it. A representation of the devil. Mm -hmm. She was a female representative yes. who had it in for Naboth. Mm -hmm. She was very influential. That's right. She had her plan scheme already designed. That's right. Listen. And the men of the city, even the elders and the nobles, who were the inhabitants in his city. She influenced who? The elders and the nobles. Get all of it. She influenced who? And the, the inhabitants. Men, and the, the men, men of the city. And the men of his city. And who else? Even the elders. And she got the elders. And the nobles. And she got those that was noble around who, there. Who were the inhabitants who, in his city. Who were the inhabitants where? In his city. In his city. Did as Jezebel had sent unto them. They were being used yes. and didn't know it. Didn't know it. The murder right. of an innocent, righteous man That's right. because of another person's lust. That's right. And another person's greed mm -hmm. and another person's hate. Amen. Be quick. And as it was written in the letters which she had sent unto them, How was it? they proclaimed a fast. They proclaimed a fast. And set Nabop on high they among the people. Nabop on high among the people. And there came in two men, children of Belial, yes. and, and sat before him. Uh -huh. And the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Nabop in the presence of the people. Sway the people. That's right. Now the way they do the people, they text message them. Mm-hmm. They email them. Yeah. Put their name out there. That's right. And then your fine brothers now won't speak to him no more. That's right. When that brother come around, don't even look at him. That's right. Shake his hand, feel the hatred in there. That's right. Huh? Amen. And you can see it in him. Yeah. That sister, you can see that hatred, that jealousy, that vindictiveness. Go ahead. In her. Go ahead. It's good teaching, brother. Go ahead. Right, listen to the old troublemaker. Go ahead. Counterintelligence. Amen. 
Listen. Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. This was a loud cloud on Naboth. He blasphemed God and the king. Then they carried him forth out of the city. Now, you see, they read it before the people. Right. Because they wanted to get the people on their side. That's right. And then they carried him forth. Out of the city. A innocent man. And stoned him with stones. Stoned him with stones. That he died. My Lord. Who have you lied on? That's right. Who have you emailed and lied on? Go ahead. Who emailed you believed? Go ahead. And now got you feeling different towards your brother and sister that done nothing to you? That's right. Who text message now you believe? Go ahead. That got you now treating your brother and sister different who done nothing to you? Amen. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you a product Go ahead. of counterintelligence? My Lord. It's good teaching. Are you a puppet mm -hmm. for somebody else's hatred? Amen. If someone don't like your marriage, they email things about your wife. Yes, they will. They'll bring a wedge between you and your wife. That's right. They email, if they jealous of your marriage, mm -hmm. they email things about your husband. Yeah. Another method of counterintelligence that I didn't relate, but let me say this. I want right. to take my time and soak it. Go ahead, go ahead. In the old time, to try to prove they lie, mm -hmm. they resort to artificial photography. Mm. What do you mean? Back then, they didn't have computers. Mm. So they would take pictures or get pictures of you mm -hmm. and cut them yeah. and put your face on bodies yes. that are not yours. That's right. To make it look like you in precarious positions. Yes. That's right. Now it's more high tech. More high tech. They can take your face, mm -hmm. put it on somebody's body, right. and then with a you move the fingers, make the body move. That's right. And then plaster it on the internet. That's right. Now, make it look like you shooting up. Yeah. Make it look like you're gay. Yes. Or make it look like you're having sex with somebody that may be dead. That's true. Anything to kill the character. Anything to kill the character. That's right. And many of us, like church-going suckers, My Lord. fall for it. My Lord. My Some Lord. of us are like dogs. Yeah. One of one of oh, yeah. My brother, I can't remember everybody's name. What's your name, bro? Jordan. brother? Jordan. Brother Jordan and Sister Kimmy, brother Dan's daughter, yeah. got married about a month ago now? About a month ago. Mm -hmm. Now, marriage just fresh. Mm -hmm. They don't have to know nobody. Right. All somebody have to do is feel as though, you know what, they, I don't know, that, they just look too good together. I don't, I don't, <laughs> That's right. I, That's I, true. I don't like that. That's true. Take some pictures. Mm. See. Before you know it, he may be on the internet working. And all of a sudden, you got mail. That's true. I'll be on the road with you. That's true. And his wife popped up. Mm. But it won't be his wife, just a face or somebody else's body. Yeah. Or the same thing can happen to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pastor Jennings is known internationally. Yeah. You know how many people take pictures of me? That's right. I just found out a few weeks ago. Uh, one of our church photographers, Brother Rick, who went with me to India, there's a certain place that him and Sister Bailey go to to uh, get our pictures printed mm -hmm. of all our conventions and meetings in a foreign country. And a woman, the woman, I believe one of the owners, older woman, she said, well, that's the first time I seen pictures of your pastor in casual clothes. Because when I'm in India, I don't wear suits. It's just too hot. I just got on shirts and pants and rubber-soled shoes so I can get traction in the dirt. 
<laughs> in case, in case the day of reckoning come. <laughs> but she told him, she did, it's this tall, dark-skinned woman with makeup. She said, somewhat thick or not, comes in here and always getting pictures developed of Pastor Jennings. My Lord. Always. Mm. Rick said, what? I said, what? <laughs> she said, we conclude that it's someone obsessed with him. My Lord. But she always coming in with pictures. You can tell he was in church. Because mm. he always got a suit on or whatnot. And you can see some people. And you know, but she always, she said, I don't care how many pictures is on this roll. Mm. She's constantly taking pictures of Pastor Jennings. Mm. Hmm. I don't know the one of that description, but I'm not naive. Right. Because it can be someone that come to church. That's true too. That put makeup on. Right. So nobody won't think they're from the church. That's true. Then it could be someone that left the church. That's right. All kind of people. See, I know I'm a target. Oh yes. I know I'm a target. Oh yeah. I have been a target for years. Oh yeah. I will always be a target. That's right. Am I hiding from those who want to have target practice? <laughs> I don't think so. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I don't live through the counterintelligence program. Yeah. The FBI even sent word that they sending people here. My Lord. They could have been done it. Oh, yeah. See, if the FBI sends someone here, they're not going to send someone that's going to stick out like a sore thumb. No, no way. They're going to send someone that blend in. That's right. That know how to do that Pentecostal move. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. They're going to send someone that blend in. That know how to make it sound like they're speaking in tongues. Ha kaya, kaya, kala ma 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 ma. That's right. The objective is blend in. Yes. Go ahead, brother. It's good teachings. I done lived through that already. Yeah. I done lived through lying through text messages. Mm -hmm. I done lived through lies of emails. I done lived through lies writing members in the church. Mm -hmm. And they upset because they can't stop us yet. You stop. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. They wanted Go ahead, the church yeah. to turn on Pastor Jennings. Yeah. I even had ministers mm. who teamed up with liars. My Lord. And start sending out their little DVDs and tapes of them with some little backyard sermon. <laughs> My Lord. Hoping that they would influence the people to come with them. They My tried Lord. everything. Tried everything. And since then, mm -hmm. God has made the work bigger, yeah. larger. Yeah. Amen. The devil didn't even put a dent. And I still got some counterintelligence devils here. That's right. I still got some. My Lord. That's something. Man. Oh, you listen to the old man. Go ahead. <laughs> listen. Then they sent to Jezebel saying, Naboth is stoned and is dead. Naboth, we accomplished what we wanted. Right. He's stoned, he's dead. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth was stoned and what? was dead. What happened? That Jezebel said to Ahab. She said to her husband. Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. Go get what's yours. That's right. Cold-blooded murder. Murder. Now, mm -hmm. let's look at the counterintelligence mm -hmm. from a woman mm -hmm. approaching a man. Right. Not getting what she want. That's right. And now want to ruin the man. That's right. 
In the book of Genesis, chapter 39. Glory to God. And begin reading at verse 1. Everybody listen, because this goes both ways. Yes. Men and women. That's right. You got some men, if they can't get what they want out of you, they lie on you. Mm -hmm. Say you did this, say you did that, set you up. Mm -hmm. Agree to have sex with you, then they hear somebody coming, rape! <laughs> That's right. There's a lot of innocent men in jail for rape. That's right. And they did not rape us. That's true. Amen. That's true. But they had to take the woman's word. That's yeah. Right. You didn't get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. But right away, mm -hmm. say the baby is yours. Set you up. She can be one week pregnant. Set you up. Tell her everything, tell you everything that you want to hear. Baby, I love you, sweet. You're the only thing for me, and blah, blah, blah. And you sit there like a dumb fool. Oh, gosh. That's right. She really loved me, gosh. <laughs> One night stand. Next thing you know, two days later, can we talk? Yeah, what's the matter, baby? Well, I took a, uh, you know, a test, one of them home tests, and I'm pregnant. What, what, huh? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm pregnant. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. Because she knew the one that really got her pregnant was a bum. Right. And he was not going to live up to responsibility and take care of it no how. Amen. So blame it on someone that you know won't walk out. Right. And leave that sucker carrying a bag. That's right. A lot of time he won't think to get a blood test. <laughs> he just take her word. Take her word. Now listen at this. Genesis. Everybody all right? Amen. Oh, this is good knowledge today. Amen. This, this is everyday events that happen. Every day. Come on. Genesis chapter 39 and started verse 1. Yeah. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, what else? captain of the guard, an Egyptian bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, yes. which had brought him down hither. And the Lord was with Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jacob, mm -hmm. grandson of Isaac, mm -hmm. great-grandson of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Joseph, his brothers, blood brothers, at one time was jealous of him. Jealous of him. Because he had a divine talent that they didn't have. That's right. Being able to interpret dreams. Mm -hmm. They would call him the dreamer. <laughs> yeah. Now, in every situation where someone lied and plotted to destroy the righteous, God came back and gave them victory. That's in right. every situation. That's true. Every single one. That's right. And destroy those that try to set them up. You see, the counterintelligence program is not a program of the past. It still is a program of the present. Amen. Because if you are affecting the masses of people and giving them something to drive forward, and if the government feels as though you are a threat yes. to them, That's right. then they will infiltrate your program and use those that love money within the program and pay off That's right. that man or that woman who don't mind turning against the program. Amen. Go ahead. Listen. And the Lord was with Joseph and he was a prosperous man. The Lord was with Joseph. He was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Yes. And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Now, if someone see you prosper, mm -hmm. doing well, doing well, they don't like that. No. Especially if they're jealous because now they take it personal. What about me? That's right. Why can't I drive the car you drive? Yes. Live the house, you. Why, why can't I be known like you? Amen. That's that. Mm -hmm. That wickedness. Mm -hmm. 
See, when you love limelight and someone else is in the limelight that you don't want there, right. you're going to do everything in your power to move them out of there. That's right. So that type of hatred is hard to contain. Yeah. So you're either going to call someone or talk to a brother because even the devil knows there's somebody out there that's like him. That's right. That wicked brother or wicked sister know there's somebody out there that feels about that person the way you do. Amen. And that will listen. Are you listening? That's right. Glory to God. It is not a new thing under the sun. No. Hoover got his skill from his father. Yeah. The devil. The devil. Amen. <laughs> That's Listen, right. and his master saw that the Lord was with him and, the, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Yes. And Joseph found grace in his sight and he served him and he made him overseer over his house. He made him overseer over his house. This shows us that the master or the head of Joseph's house, mm -hmm. uh, his master's house, he had confidence in Joseph. Right. Enough to leave everything in Joseph's charge. That's right. That's confidence. Mm -hmm. Trust him. Trust him. Believed in him. Mm -hmm. Confidence in him. Mm -hmm. But when jealousy sets in, yeah. and nobody, the individual, don't want you to be over that house no more, mm -hmm. then I got to do something to destroy his rep. That's right. If a brother don't want mm -hmm. one of the ministers to remain in the pulpit mm -hmm. in any local temple, yeah. then that brother or brothers will bring something that's not true right. to conspire mm -hmm. to get that minister pulled down yeah. hoping that they will replace the minister that sat down. That's right. They would even hire a woman. My Lord. There are brothers that are not here now, and thank God for that. Amen. But I don't have brothers hire women and send them here. My Lord. For Pastor Jennings. My Lord. On the way I found out about it, the woman broke down in my office and told me. Hmm. And in my mind, if you're going to send somebody, mm -hmm. if you are going to send somebody, Amen. wouldn't it be wise to send someone that at least look like something you will be attracted to? That's right. Don't send somebody that look like something. Right. And you don't know what they look like. That's right, sir. So if you're going to plan someone's demise, do it right. Do, do it right. If you can't even do wrong the right way, get off the job. That's right. That's right. You don't bring someone to a man and make the man appear to be desperate. Amen. Or make the woman appear to be desperate. Yeah. So when the devil, what he does, he learns by his mistakes and regroup. Regroup. And get somebody else. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Regroup and get somebody else. Mm -hmm. Try again. Try again. You don't first succeed, what is the quote? Try, try again. Try again. Everybody all right? Yeah. Listen. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house. And, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Yes. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in his house and in the field. Yes. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and knew not aught he had, save the bread which he did eat. Uh -huh. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. Joseph, look at his character. Joseph was goodly, a goodly person. Well favored. And well favored. Well respected. Mm -hmm. Listen. And it came to pass after these things uh -huh. that his master's wife that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Ah. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking at brother Joe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Looking at brother Joseph. Amen. 
Let's step in. Yes. Listen. That his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Then what? And she said. It never said Joseph was looking at her. Joseph wasn't paying her no mind. No. She was in behind Joseph. That's right. She cast her eyes. Cast her that eyes. That lets you know right there Joseph looked good to her. To her. That's right. Listen. That his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Then what? And she said, lie with me. Oh. Lie with me, Joe. Lie with me. She didn't want him to get on the knees and pray. <laughs> no. Oh, no. She wasn't asking him to afflict his soul in a prayer gathering. No. Lie, lie with me. Lie with me. That's very bold. Amen. Yes, that's bold. Oh, yeah. That's very forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't be forward with the man, and you don't know that man. You don't know whether your forward is going to work or backfire on you. That's right. You embarrass yourself. That's right. Listen. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph. Then what? And she said, lie with me. She said, lie with me. But he refused. But he refused. And said unto his master's wife. He said to his master's wife, what? Behold, my Look, master. My master. Wanteth not what is with me in the house. Yes. And he hath committed all that he hath. He left everything in his house. To in my, my charge. To my hand. Yes. There is none greater in his house than I. Look, he's not bragging. He's right. calling a spade a spade. That's right. It ain't nobody in the house greater than me. That's right. Now, folks will say Joseph was arrogant. He wasn't arrogant. He no. was truthful. Amen. Ain't nobody in the house greater than I. <laughs> better than me. That's right. That's what he was telling them. Amen. Listen. Neither hath he kept back anything from me. My master didn't keep none back from me. But thee. But you. Because thou me. art his Us? wife. You are his wife. How then can I do this How great can I do this great thing? And sin against and God. And sin against God. And it came to pass it as she spake to Joseph. It came to pass she spake to Joseph. Day by day. She was consistent. That's right. Trying to do what? Break him down. Break him down. Break him down. That's right. Day by day. Relentless in her effort. Amen. <laughs> that goes to show you a woman can be constant, but every man don't break. That's right. That's right. You can't make nobody love you. No, you can't. You can't make nobody want you. That's true. Man, you can't make no woman want you. You can't make a woman love you. No. no. Are you listening? Amen. Listen. And it came to pass as she spoke to Joseph day by day. What happened? That he hearkened not unto her. He wasn't paying no mind. To lie by her. And. Or to be with her. And. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And there was none of the men of the house there with Nobody him. Nobody was home. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. Then what? And she caught him by his garment. She caught him? By, his by garment, the garment. Saying, lie with me. Lie with me. And he left his garment in his hand no, and come fled. Come here, brother. Come here, brother. Mm -hmm. What's your name again, brother? Lee. Brother Lee? Yeah. Give me your jacket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got your phone in there. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the woman called you. I give it back to you. <laughs> what did she do? And she caught him by his garment. Caught him by the garment. Saying, lie with me. Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Now. She can try to blackmail him. Right. That's right. Look at the blackmail. Well, if he wasn't trying to do nothing, how did I get his clothes? Right. That's right. If he wasn't trying to do nothing, how those stains get there? Yes. All you got to do is rub the clothes on you. That's true. It's called improvising. <laughs> That's right. When a person wants to set you up, That's something. the counterintelligence program had another method of trying to make you look guilty. Mm -hmm. Removing your fingerprints. Amen. That's right. Hiring someone to make, take you out to dinner or lunch. Mm. Touch a glass. Mm -hmm. You leave, the other person in the restaurant who's part of the conspiracy gets some tape or something to lift your fingerprints and plant them That's somewhere true. else. Yeah. That's right. That's right. See, when you really got hatred for somebody, 
You know no boundaries until you have fulfilled your mission, their destruction. Amen. That's right. So now she got jokes of garment. Amen. So now I got proof. Some proof. Ah, he did this. That's right. Listen, everybody, everybody all right? Mm -hmm. If this offends somebody, this is not my problem. No. Because some of us is guilty Amen. of lying on a whole lot of people. Yeah. Text mexing, Amen. emailing, Amen. Facebook, right. Twitter. 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 Go ahead, brother. Lying, phone calls. Yeah. And have not repented yeah. for the lie. You told. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Listen at the holy book. And she caught him by his garment. She caught Job by the garment. Saying, lie with me. Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Then what? And it came to pass when she saw that he left his garment in her hand. Oh, now her mind started working. That's right. I got his clothes. That's right. Huh, he going to give me what I want one way or the other. Amen. Listen. That she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them. And said what? Saying, see. See. He had brought in an Hebrew unto my, us What you mean he us. had brought in? My husband brought a Hebrew in. To mock us. To make mockery of us. He came in unto me. You see, notice her language. No, wait a minute. Amen. Why do you think she used the term Hebrew? Hebrew. Right. Brought a Hebrew. See, Hebrew. See, Joseph was under the roof of another ethnic group. That's right. That's right. So if I emphasize Hebrew, Hebrew, you know, it, it was an outsider. Right. Another race. Right. I want to make That's it right. real ugly. That's right. That's the way it's done today by races. Yes. All white brothers and sisters are not racist. No. But in today's America, what was that woman name that had her two sons strapped to a car chair and drove the car in the water? Remember that? She said a black man carjacked her. Right. They was interviewing every black man. Amen. Susan, somebody, when the Washington sniper was on the loose, they said they thought it was a white man. Because in their eyes, their profile fitted a white man. Right. Getting a gun, shooting everybody. But no, it was an old crazy blackie. Old crazy blackie. That's right. That's right. You see, there are some people that hope it's you. Amen. They hope it, Lord, let it be them. Lord, Amen. please, let it be them. Show me, show Amen. me, Lord. So now, because you wanted to be them so bad, now you got all these dreams. That's right. It is written a dream come through the multitude of business. That's right. You already got your hair programmed as him or her, yeah. so you're going to dream yeah. that it's him or her. That's right. And now you're going to get up having an up against him or her because the devil gave you a dream right. about him or her. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. I want to soak you a little. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. This is good knowledge. Oh, yes. Yes. Then you'll share that dream with another brother. Look. I dream, and I, have, I keep having this dream over and over and over. Hmm. Well, the seed is planted in you. Yeah. And until God gets that seed out of you, you're going to keep having that dream. That's right. Because then you're going to start hoping that it's true. That's right. I know it's true. Hmm. Hmm? Lord. So now you're going to start opening your husband's mail, checking his emails, yeah. checking text messages. Yeah. Looking all around the car. Yeah. He's going to do the white the same thing. Check her emails, text messages, looking all around the car, looking under the car. That's getting right. dirty on Sunday morning. That's right. All up under the car. My Lord. 
Why? And the ones that plant the madness sit back and laugh at you while you lose your mind. That's right. Now you come to church and you can't even look at the brother who they lied on. My Lord. Now you come to church and you can't even look at the sister who they lied on. My Lord. Because now it builds up in you. That's right. And spiritually, you start dying. Dying. Yeah. Dying. Dying. Yeah. Glory to God. Are you listening? My Lord. Devil is an enemy. Oh, yeah. Please don't think the devil is an enemy to some of us. No. The devil is an enemy to all of us. Oh, that's right. Listen good. That she called unto the men of her house. And what? And spake unto them, saying, See, See? he hath brought in an Hebrew, a Hebrew unto us to mock us. Mm. Cry on this ethnic group. Yeah. Let's say a black man did it. That's right. Let's say a white man did it. Yeah. Let's say a Hispanic man did it. Mm -hmm. Let's say an Asian man do it. But they'll make sure it's put out in the right community. Yeah. Right. So it can really take root. That's right. They always describe the innocent black man the same way. Black man big with a hoodie. That's right. Right off the bat, same way. Same way. Have you noticed that? Go ahead. Same way. Same way. Stereotype. Yeah. And some of our young brothers make it easy to be stereotyped because you out here like a fool. That's right. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You reinforce them falsely charging you. That's right. By walking around with your pants hanging down. That's right. You don't go in no public place with a hood on your head. Go ahead. You don't go in the store with a hood on your head. Go ahead. You don't go in school with a hood on your head. Go ahead. Take your head off. You don't go in a young girl's house with a hood on your head. With a hood. Like you don't have no home training. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Pull your pants up. Go ahead. Hide your underwear. That's right. Put them down in your pants. You need to advertise your draws. You see a car full of young men, don't get in it. That doesn't matter if they're your friends. That's right. You don't know who the other one may be up to. Whether you're a car full of white brothers, car full of black brothers, car full of yellow brothers, doesn't matter. A car full of young boys, no. Why do you think the prison system now is, is, is being privatized? Yeah. Doesn't mean if it's being privatized, the investors are setting up a prison for a money-making business. Yeah. And they're looking forward for you committing crimes. That's true. They make money when you do wrong. That's right. That's true. Well, you think it's cool. With your drawers hanging out, mm -hmm. sucking a cigarette, mm -hmm. a hoodie on your head in 95 degree weather. My Lord. You think it's cool to stay on the corner and always hoisting your pants up between the crouch of your legs. Go ahead. Like you's a loose dog. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right? Teach it, brother. Teach it. You help reinforce the stereotype.